YouTube, it's Afronique, and I'm back with a requested video by Mitt Britt Twinney. I hope I pronounced it correctly. Um, I was talking about um, my diet changes since having my daughter, and she's eating what I eat, and she wanted to meet it to kind of elaborate on more recipes and to also talk about um, exercise that I do. And she thought I was fatigued, which I think is funny. <laughs> hey, I'll talk about exercise real quick since there's not a lot to that. Exercise, I don't really do much right now. I'm actually glad you mentioned it because I actually started back mall walking yesterday. So yes, I am a mall walker. <laughs> a friend had asked me when I, when I got pregnant if I wanted to mall walk. And me being the laid back chill person I am, I was like, sure, I'll try it. And so we started mall walking. We would do that three times a week for 45 minutes to an hour. And then I also did yoga for pregnant moms when I was pregnant. So I think that um, that was really good. I think that I was in my best shape when I was pregnant. And um, I think it was really good for my body, too, because I had a really um, a really fast labor. So I actually want to get back into that. Okay, sorry about that. So that pretty much sums up exercise. So the next thing would be the biggest change um, would be diet. So how it started was once my daughter hit six months and she could eat solid foods, um, I didn't give her the jar of food. Um, I had tasted that mess when I had a baby shower and it doesn't taste like food and you can't really tell what it is, so I was like, I'm not giving my child that. And so what I actually did instead was I would just take like sweet potatoes, bake them in the oven, scrape the stuff out and puree them with milk. Or taking like fresh green beans and steaming them really, really well so they were to where they were soft enough that she could mash them with her gums. So it was doing stuff like that so that she could have like what I consider to be real food. And so um, that's what kind of started with kind of the food changing in my household. So I started with that. So that's kind of where I'm at now as far as the vegetables are concerned, doing more fresh vegetables as opposed to canned because canned has a lot of sodium in it because it's a preservative. And so if I do use canned, I do rinse it first and that helps take some of that sodium out. Or otherwise, another thing I'll do when I don't use fresh is I'll use the frozen kind that you can get in those bags and you can like steam them in the microwave. So um, that's how I've changed as far as eating vegetables, um, just kind of the salt intake on them. And then, um, so, so I started with the vegetables, and then um, once she could eat more like meals type stuff, I didn't want to totally change what I was eating because I didn't feel that that would be realistic and I wouldn't stick with it. The first thing um, I kind of made that was like um, healthier was red beans and rice. I used to just pick up the box of like Zatarans, I think it was, and just add like the Polish sausage to it and, you know, be good to go. But now, of course, I don't want to give my daughter all that sodium. So I actually found a recipe in a book. It's called Cooking for Baby. Um, it's by Lisa Barnes. And it gives a healthy red beans and rice recipe to where you're actually taking um, beans and preparing them yourself as opposed to getting them from the can or whatever. And then also using a brown rice with a low-sodium chicken broth and a chicken sausage instead of a poly sausage. So just kind of substituting some things to make it healthier. So I still get to eat what I was eating before. And then they also have a mac and cheese recipe in here, um, which cuts out the butter. And then also you can add broccoli or cauliflower to it. And then you're also getting another vegetable with it. This is kind of how I started with my healthy recipes. And then another thing is I've collected recipes like for years that I've never really cooked because before um, I didn't really cook. I just shopped in the frozen food aisle. So now I have to cook everything. So yeah, it takes a lot of time and yeah. So what I do is <laughs> here's one of my little secrets of what I do um, with all the stuff that I cook. Um, I cook after my daughter goes to bed. And what I do is I just cook a lot of stuff in bulk and do a lot of freezing. Um, like, for example, with a, with the breakfast, what we used to do is a lot of Eggos and then, like, the frozen French toast, stuff like that. 
And so what I do now instead is I'm, I have a waffle maker and a griddle, and so I make those things at, at night, freeze them, and then, you know, I can just pull them from the freezer and throw them in the oven, you know, to warm them up when we're ready for them. So that's kind of the kind of stuff we'll do for breakfast, or like a smoothie, um, stuff like that for breakfast. And then for lunch, um, I try to stay away from nitrates because they can form cartilage. And so that takes out your lunch meat, um, your hot dogs, but you can get nitrate-free hot dogs. And um, so I don't really too much do that stuff. Um, so instead what I do is like an asparagus wrap. Um, has like asparagus in it, um, brown rice, like a yogurt mixture, and you use a wheat tortilla. So um, one of the things I do, like with the other stuff I, I would make, is like a burrito, you know, using a wheat tortilla instead, is an improvement. And then from this book, there's like a toddler burrito, which is a pinto bean, cheese, and rice um, that I'll do, which is actually, you know, pretty good. And, um... Also, for lunch, said we do like a halibut fish finger. Um, we do the pizzas that I was talking about using the naan bread or the naan. I think it's naan. Naan bread. And um, this is the brand that I use and what the bread looks like. It's tandoori, and I actually got this big bag from Costco. And so I use this. And I use a spaghetti sauce, and I use a Canadian bacon that is nitrate-free that I can get from QFC, and then I use um, canned pineapple. And then for dinner, uh, for our burgers, instead of using ground beef, I'm using turkey breast. And then the same thing for spaghetti. Um, with the turkey burgers, we'll have um, we'll have sweet potato fries, more fish like tilapia. Um, do a lot of salmon in a lot of various ways. And then, um, say we're big pasta people. So I used to only make, like, chicken alfredo and use, like, the Tyson chicken that you can buy in the little containers. So instead, I use chicken breast that I actually cook. And then also, like, last night we had shrimp fettuccine instead, trying to bring in, like, different meats and varieties. I have, like, a recipe for, like, lemon olive chicken that I got from a magazine. Um, Parmesan chicken, stuff like that. So I think if you just kind of Google those names, um, you'll be able to come up with some recipes. Um, I get some of my recipes from allrecipes.com, um, and I can put that down in the box. Um, I do like a, a vegetable lasagna, which is really good, with like zucchini and tomatoes and mushrooms in it and squash. So for me, the thing with the desserts, um, how I kind of don't eat a lot of desserts is actually because I don't eat chocolate. And so they put chocolate on everything. And you will notice that as a person that does not eat chocolate. I mean, they will drizzle it on anything possible. <laughs> Remotely, that could be dessert-like. They will throw some chocolate on it. Um, when you first asked me the question, I was like, I don't really do much of anything, but I guess now that I've thought about it, there is a lot of little things that I do to try to eat healthier. You just think about a lot more stuff, you know, once you have a child than before, you know, and not wanting to give it to my child and then thinking, okay, if it's not good for her, what makes it good for me type of a thing. So I hope that is helpful. Um, if anybody has any questions about it, um, feel free to let me know. All right. So, thanks for watching.